get that guy in trouble. There's so much you can do. Don't get that guy in trouble. Don't get that guy in trouble. I can't tell that story. So, uh, so uh, yeah, the, the, the murder dolls. What was the story I had earlier? I totally forgot what I was going to go with. The, uh, Oh, well, I think that's what I'm saying. There's like eight of them. Which one was the safe one? Oh, oh the uh, Cradle of Filth? Yeah, Cradle of Filth. You heard of that band? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, I, this is the one I thought about. All right, so uh, Metal Hammer Magazine had their first Golden Gods Awards in 2003, and we headlined that as Murder Dolls. And, uh, and during that day, it's it a multitude of ridiculous stories. So they didn't, it was the very first time they ever done the, those awards and they didn't have it figured out at all. It was like completely ridiculous. And it was also like a million degrees inside this place. So all the bands are trying to look cool. They're like, fuck, our hair is messing up and all this shit. They're <laughs> pissed off. And um, so we're up in the, I don't even know where this place was. Was it the Forum? Is that where it was maybe? I don't know. Um, so we're up in the balcony. All the bands are in the, in the balcony and the fans are on the, on the ground. And um, they were like, hey, if anyone wins an award, you don't walk down to the podium. You just kind of go, hey, and they'll flash a camera on it because you were too far away to walk to the, to the podium. But as the night went on, they started just making up shit as it went along. So we win an award in the middle of the show, and they go, you won. Go down there. So we all get up. and are like, what? And we're all walking. And we're like so far away, and it's taking like five minutes to walk, and the music's playing. And we get down to the stairs or back to the podium to get, get our award, and the lights go out. And they go straight to the death tones. And we're like, what the fuck? And everybody's looking at us like, ha ha, you guys look fucking stupid. And I'm like, oh god, I'm trying to hide in this curtain. And AC's like, dude, it's not that bad. This is terrible. We look fucking stupid. And then, uh, so then, so then after the death tones awards, they turn the lights back on and go, here's the murder dolls. And we walked down, and I, Joey said some speech or whatever. So anyway, after that, they had us at some after party somewhere. Uh, somewhere. I don't know where it was. And, um, and we had this upstage, like the, the upstairs, like, like, like our own private thing. And I don't know who brought him up, but Danny Filth shows up. I never met this guy in my life at all. He walks in, and he walks at me, and somebody goes, hey, this is Danny. And I go, hey, and I shake his hand, and he's squeezing my hand as hard as he can. And... He was out of his fucking mind. He's going to be a puppy. Like, I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? And he had two, like, white contacts in. I couldn't even understand what I'm looking at. I'm like, what's, what's going on? And they bring him upstairs, and he just jumps off of this chair and lands on our manager's wife's purse and just grabs it and goes, and I'm like, what's wrong with this guy? And security grabs him and takes him down the stairs, and we're like, what? Who the hell brought him up here? And they're like, we thought Joey knew him. I'm like, no. So either way, I go downstairs, and I'm hanging out with some friends or whatever, and we're just, you know, that's like an hour later, and I just, you know, over all the loud music and everything, I just hear our drummer, Ben Graves, I call him the ghoul, I hear this, this East Coast accident go, suck my dick, bitch, <laughs> over everything. And I'm like, what? And I turn around, and our drummer has his dick out, swinging it around. And he had just punched Danny Filth in the face. And he's swinging his dick at his girlfriend, going, suck my dick. And I'm like, what is going on here? So I, so I walk up, and I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on? And the ghoul goes, yeah, that, that dude punched AC. And so he, I guess, I don't know if he thought I was, me and AC had, had similar hair kind of back then. I don't know if he thought I was AC, but he walked up behind AC and he punched AC and AC fell into Ben and then Ben swiped AC away and punched Danny right in the face. And then, and then, so security's got everybody, like it's this crazy moment and we're like in this long like corridor and Danny fills at one end. He's so out of his mind. He has no idea what's going on. And we're at one end, and we're calling him everything we can think of. You motherfucking cocksucker. Fuck you. We'll cut your head off. And he's like... <laughs> and the next day, all over the internet, it's like murder dolls beat up Cradle of Filth. <laughs> and it wasn't anything like that at all. And I have nothing against that band. I just think it's a really ridiculous story. And like two weeks later, we were playing some big festival with them, and they had like security, like separating us, and all the internet was like, they're going to kill each other. They're going to fight each other to the death. I'm like, no, we're not. We're not going to do that at all. It was so dumb. It's so dumb we get to do this and tell you guys these dumb stories.
But that's a real story, and I'm sticking to it. And uh, so yeah, Murder Dolls happened like 14 years ago. And this is a this is a song from that band. If you know it, sing along. I'm gonna break it down for you. I saw you kiss on the rough ladder, and I knew it was love, true love. Some answers. All right, you right there with the with the cup. It's empty. Fill that thing up. Yeah. All right. Any chance of another cup There is a chance of it if I can find some time in my busy schedule of playing these acoustic songs. Um, but yes, yeah, so I will definitely do that again. I just uh, I'm trying to find time. I'm trying to find time to do the Bourbon Crow thing. I'm trying to find time to do that. I'm trying to find time to uh, just. Uh, Yes, it'll happen. We played here, right? We got fire played here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who was here for that? Yeah. Woo. Me and that stupid haircut I had dancing around. Like, <laughs> I, was, I was dancing crazy. I can't say anything about your haircut. Yeah, you got a, you got a raw deal. Your barber's like, hey, I'll give you a half a deal. <laughs> half price. Half price. <laughs> True story. Any more questions out there in the... Uh, Yes. I just, what? I talk about cats. Do I, do I talk about dogs? Do I also like dogs? Yes, I do like dogs. But I'm weird about dogs. I like little dogs that look like cats. <laughs> I love chihuahuas. I grew up with chihuahuas. But when I was like in fifth grade, my, uh, I never told you this. It blows my mind. I still don't like it. Thanks for bringing it up. I was attacked by a Doberman when I was like in fifth grade. 
And I'm not sure if he attacked me. I think he was just trying to butt fuck me. <laughs> My mom was like, he was not trying to butt you. He was just trying to hump you. But he was growling. And I was like this big. And he was like this big. And he had his, sh his arms on my shoulder and he was... Uh, yeah, so what I told people for years that I was attacked by a dog, I was actually tried to be raped by a dog. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it's a true story. I'd rather be bitten. Yeah, I'd be bitten by a dog. <laughs> yeah. Well, that dog's dead now, so next question. It happens. I didn't kill it. It's just a, like, dog ears. Dog ears. Dog ears. Dog ears is a bitch. <laughs> yes, next question. You've got another one. Yeah, I know you've met um, Alice Cooper. Yes. And my friends came to see you in the gig in London. I did not meet Mr. Bowie, unfortunately. I did not. That was very sad. Make some noise, Mr. Bowie, out there, everybody. He's the reason you guys have good music. <laughs> he created that shit. But uh, no, I never, never met Bowie. I met Alice a million times. Um, I could tell you a funny Alice story. You guys ever seen that movie called MacGruber? Yeah. <laughs> you know how ridiculous that movie is? It's pretty stupid. There's a scene where he goes to the graveyard to fuck his ghost wife. <laughs> Have you seen this part? You guys ever seen this movie? It's ridiculous. He just fucks the air. <laughs> and Alice Cooper took me and his, I was with him, hanging out with his family a few years ago. And we went to the theater to see this movie. We, I don't think they knew what the hell it was. And he had like all of his, like, like a lot of his family, like little kids and stuff. They all went to this because like PG-13. And we're all sitting there. Before we went to the, before we went into the theater, he actually bought me a, 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 a blue icy, a Slurpee. And he bought me some popcorn. He said, Wednesday, what do you want? I went, I want a large popcorn. <laughs> Mr. Cooper. But he took us there. It was so funny because, like, his family was so disturbed. Like, they were like, oh, my God, I can't remember watching this, watching this dude fucking ghost. <laughs> It was the most. It was like the, it was like Alice and his wife, and like the, the whole family there, and we're all watching this ten-minute scene of a guy fucking ghost. <laughs> it wasn't that weird for me. I was, I was like, oh, this is just kind of surreal. Going, Alice Cooper, he paid for me to watch somebody fuck a ghost. <laughs> Fair enough. That is a that is a that's a true story. Next question. Uh oh. Yes. I don't sing happy birthday that much, but maybe I did. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm old. Remember we turned 40 this year. 40 years old. And we still act like we are children. At all times. It's true. We make fart jokes all the day. It's, 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 it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, make the fart sound. Right? If you want to know how ridiculous we really are, if you guys ever saw our Weirdo A Go-Go DVD we put out. Yeah. He did all the voices for those puppets, if you guys don't know. And uh, when we filmed that, it was 90, I don't know, 90, what am I talking about? I'm retarded. 2000 something, something, seven, six, something like that. So Ramon did all the voices for the uh, for all the puppets, and uh, and we filmed this thing for like 12 hours, and there was like a little puppet stage, so he's like underneath a table, and for hours we're just drinking and filming, and it's taking forever, and... After about six hours of drinking, those puppets became real to me. <laughs> I could not even look at them without laughing, and, and it was... It'd be some of the boys. Do, uh, do Billy? Hi! <laughs> I'm Billy! And you got, uh, you got Cocky, who was the fucking pissed off uh, Australian uh, cock. You fucking cunt. <laughs> I got your fucking throat. <laughs> yes. And, uh, yeah. So that's what we do. When, when, you, when you get older, you just make puppet shows. That's what happens. Dad Gummit. Dad Gummit. Oh, this next song is by the, uh, the the later Murder Dolls that you were a part of in the uh, the 2010 Murder Dolls for Women and Children Last. Anybody get that? Yeah! The label told us to change the lyrics for this next song. They said, he, they said this song is a hit. It's a hit. But it cannot be called Summertime Suicide. Yeah. 
you have to change the lyrics. And I'm like, to what? <laughs> Summertime Valentine? Summertime Butterfly? And I was like, you guys figure it out. This, and they were like, nope, this could be a radio hit if you would just change those lyrics. I'm like, you know what? It changes the whole fucking song, so fuck off. Fuck radio. We we'll turn it out anyways. This is called Summertime Suicide. Sing along if you know it. She left a letter beside her bed and it read that she would be dead by the time they are ready. There was a trail of blood that led down to the center in the that's where I found her My good buddy here, Ramon Sermon. He makes me suck less. How you doing over there? I'm good. I'm you doing all awesome. right? Yeah, yeah. Yesterday was a bad day for us. It was our first show. We were hungover. We flew for like 48 hours and we drank for 68 hours. 
I'm not sure how that's possible, but it really added up that way. It really, it really is that it way. Happened. You know what? I thought about this earlier today too. This is a pretty stupid story. We've been a lot of flights. We, I don't know if you guys know if you guys fly a lot, but like we fly all the fucking time. This flight here was 11 hours. 11 hours of just sitting there <laughs> doing nothing. And then going to Australia from where we live is like 15 or 16 hours and things like that. But I watch a lot of movies and I'm crazy and I'm paranoid and I'm always going, what's that guy doing on the airplane? <laughs> and I'm sure look at me going, what's that guy doing on the airplane? And they're like, drugs. <laughs> like, yeah, drugs don't blow up airplanes though. But uh, there was one flight, um, what band it was, if it was Murder Dolls or Us or whatever, I mean, you may remember, I don't know, I told this earlier, it was so stupid. We were taking off on one of these international flights from the 10 hour or 14 hour flights and I hate flying, I'm fucking pussy about it. I always get freaked out and everything. So first like 15, 30 minutes, I'm just like, oh fuck, everything's terrible. So we're taking off and I'm like at the front of, the, of this little part of the plane, I can see like the stewardess, she sits down in front of me and, and I always watch them to find everything's cool because, you know, like she's not freaking out, I'm not gonna freak out, right? So we take off and everything seems fine and I see her, she looks over and she's like <gasps> Like she just saw fucking Godzilla come out of somewhere and I was like, like I'm like, what the fuck? Like so I'm like, I gotta, I gotta cut somebody And I'm <laughs> stupidest fucking thing ever This little old man comes out of the bathroom, I guess he was hiding in there when we took off He didn't go to his seat Yeah And he came out of the bathroom Not lying, not making this shit up with a big bird puppet <laughs> on his arm. Like this, this came out and just went <laughs> And the lady goes, Sir, get back to your seat, get back to your seat. And he just sat on the ground and went <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like he was like, he was out of his fucking mind. And I'm thinking like, this, you know, we gotta take this guy down. Or and I really was. Then I realized he's got a fucking big bird puppet on his hand. <laughs> If I punch this guy, I'm gonna feel really bad later. <laughs> and uh, so they took him back to his seat and they talked to him and he was apparently some kind of crazy scientist that took a bunch of his pills because his daughter was uh, sick or something and he had a big bird puppet. I'm not sure. I heard the story kind of, but it was really weird, but I'm just really glad I didn't. Know. I almost took that guy down with a Chuck Norris kick to the face. <laughs> right in the bird face. Yeah, it's like, sorry, bud. But, uh, yeah, that was a true story. And this next song's a true story, too. It's off my Skeletons record. 